If you've ever wondered why your players seem more engaged in some games than others, or if you're looking for a way to make your sessions more dynamic and responsive, this video is for you as we're discussing player agency. Now, I've definitely been in both convention and home games where I felt like my choices just don't matter, and that's just not as much fun. It's felt like the GM story is so much on rails that no matter what our characters choose to do, the story is just going to continue chugging along. And that just isn't as fun as feeling like my choices and my group's choices matter and is making an impact on the world that we have created around this table. And I do want to say before jumping into the rest of this video, this is not a discussion of like railroading versus open world, um, because you can have a game that is on rails, but still give your players agency. And you can also have an open world game where your players just don't feel like they matter and don't feel like they have much agency. These are can be separate conversations, but I do feel like it can happen more often on um, games on rails where players just don't have the agency that they're looking for. Okay, so before I get too much further, what am I talking about? What is player agency? Player agency is all about giving your players the freedom to make meaningful choices that affect the outcome of the game. It's the magic ingredient that turns your campaign from a scripted story into a living, breathing world where anything can happen. When players feel like their decisions matter, they're much more likely to be invested in the game. They'll role play more deeply and be more likely to come back week after week, eager to see what happens next. For many of us, feeling like we matter to our in the game is super important because um, it can sometimes feel like, you know, what I did this week at work really had no impact on anything, or we might not be seeing like the progress we're hoping to see in other parts of our personal lives. So it can be super fun to just escape into a made up world where we can be characters who are the heroes of the story and we can see the progress week to week and look at something and go, ah, I saved this town, or ah, I defeated this dragon, or ah, I started a diabolical cult that w may bring about the apocalypse. <sighs> but I did something. <laughs> okay, let's get real for a second. Player agency can be a tricky balance. As a DM, you might have an epic storyline in mind, but if your players feel railroaded or like their choices don't matter, they'll start to disengage. And that's not what we want, right? We want to be able to tell the stories that we are crafting and creating for our table, but also feel like the players feel like they are also crafting and telling a story that they are purely along for the ride. So why is it that player agency matters? Without player agency, you might as well be just playing a video game or writing a novel. What sets tabletop RPGs apart is the collaborative storytelling experience. Your players are almost co-authors in this epic tale. In some systems, they are definitely co-authors. When you empower them to make choices that shape the narrative, you create a game that's uniquely ours. Every, it's everyone's at the tables. These players are much more likely to be invested in the story of the game. They'll be more excited to come back week to week and want to make time in their schedules to game. And overall, it's just going to be a lot more fun. And you as the game master are probably going to end up doing maybe a little bit less work because your players are going to be more proactive. They might come up with what it is that they want to do. And okay, now you just have to fill in the who, what, how. Okay, so how do we do this at the table? Before I get into the how, I want to take a moment to thank all of our patrons, especially Black Dragon Gaming. If you enjoy our videos, make sure you are subscribed and then head on over to patreon.com slash roll for initiative and check out the perks of becoming a patron. Okay, let's talk about some practical ways you can ensure your players have agency they need to make your game truly unforgettable. First, let the players decide. Ask your players what they want to do and let them decide the course of the game. Present them the world, drop a few adventure hooks, and then take a step back. Let them explore, make mistakes, and discover the world on their own terms. 
This not only gives them a sense of ownership over the story, but also keeps them engaged because they're charting the course. Now, I think to do this well, all of your characters need to have solid concrete goals. They need to have something that is driving them. So this is something you can potentially work with them during a session zero or as you're rolling up characters. And I'm going to get to goals in a little bit. Remember, it's their story as much as it's yours. Give them the freedom to explore it. Number two, the illusion of choice when it's okay. Okay, now let's talk about the illusion of choice. Sometimes it's necessary, but it can be a double-edged sword. For instance, there's a monster encounter that's crucial to the story, or you just really want it to happen because you have a really cool mini. You might design it so that it happens no matter which path the players take. You have two doors in front of you. Which of the two doors do you want to open? The players are going to feel like, okay, well, we chose the right one over the left one. They get the choice, but you as the game master know no matter which door they pick, the monster is behind it. This is okay to do as long as you aren't doing it like all of the time. Uh, the trick is to definitely mix in genuine choices with these controlled outcomes. If players catch on that their choices don't really matter, like it can just kind of kill the magic. They want to feel like I made a choice even if they didn't necessarily make a choice. This is how games that are on rails can still provide player agency. And I like to think of it as the destination is going to be the same, but the players get to decide on the route. We are always going to lead to the end goal of this campaign or the major moments of this campaign, but how we get there is very much up to the players. Now, I will say, use the illusion of choice maybe sparingly. Your players should never feel like their decisions are just an illusion. Three, players need goals and direction. Okay, now let's discuss the importance of clear goals and direction, which I briefly mentioned earlier. Even with all, all the freedom in the world, your players still need some guidance. This is where backstory and well-defined quests can come in, give your players a clear objective, but also the tools and clues they need to achieve, achieve it. And if they're just stuck, don't be afraid to nudge them with a well-placed wisdom or intelligence check. This is especially important when a player is role-playing a character that might be smarter or wiser than they are, or that player is just could normally figure it out, but they just had a rough week and their brain's not in it. It helps maintain the immersion and keeps the story moving forward. Sometimes your players might just need a little help finding the right path. The other important thing with having goals and directions is help your players feel like they are accomplishing something, they can see the progress, and that will help with this sense of agency. The first game that I was in, there was a really, um, neat storyline where we were clearing out this like manor mansion with all these different rooms and areas that had weird creatures and weird stuff going on. But, and we were kind of also helping run this estate. It was a really cool idea for the game, but it wasn't like, we didn't really understand the why behind we were doing, why, why we were doing it, it. None of our characters really had a clear motivation to want to run an estate. Um, and so there was just a disconnect between this cool idea for a concept of a game and us as players, as well as characters, not necessarily feeling like we cared about the estate or also felt like we were necessarily just doing something. So it's like, great, we cleared out this room and now it's just an empty room that's going to sit here. Why did we need to clear it out? I think at one point we did finally get a little bit more clarity of like why we were clearing out the, the estate. But until we got that, it kind of felt like we're doing these things, but we don't know why. It's just kind of the adventure that we've been thrown into. Um, and you can accomplish this by, you know, having NPCs that help clarify the motivation or thank the party for rescuing them from the monster. Or, you know, have a time jump or even just an NPC who's able to be like, ah, great, we will be able to finally utilize this room to make ale and now we can help fund the rest of the restorations and feed the people who work and live at the estate. Cool, we're helping people. You know, once we got that part, it did feel like, okay, we are important what we're doing does matter, and that helped motivate us a little bit more in the game. Number four, co-create the world with your players. 
One of the best ways to enhance player agency is just to co-create the world with them. Give your players the opportunity to fill in details, whether it's through their backstory or on the fly decisions. There are even some like session zero or pre games that you can play that just creates the entire world or a region. Um, and some of those games are really fun. Maybe a player character has a rival from their hometown that suddenly that rival can become an NPC in your world. Or when describing a new location, ask your players to contribute details. This not only enriches your world, make, it makes it feel like it's also truly theirs. And it's great as a game master because you don't have to create everything. Utilize the other people at your table and they will help come up with ideas that you might not have thought of or details that flesh out the town into a different way than you necessarily saw, but hey, that now sparked a new idea for you or, or a new idea for another player. In you know, this collaboration and co-creating can really just make this the game so much more fun and it helps make everyone feel this ownership of the story and the world. So I feel this ownership. I want to be more invested in it. I want my character to be invested in it. So there you have it, a few tips to help you foster player agency in your tabletop role-playing games. Remember, at the end of the day, it's all about creating this collaborative experience where your players feel like their choices matter. If you can do that, you're well on your way to running a campaign that your players will remember for years to come. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more tabletop tips and tricks. And let me know in the comments, how do you ensure player agency in your games? I'd love to hear your stories and ideas. All right, I'll see you next time on Roll for Initiative. Bye.